We will no longer be forced to live in darkness, brothers and sisters. Witness the dawn of a new world, a world free of lies, ignorance, and corruption. Saturn, we offer you this sacrifice as a symbol of our dedication. Please guide us on our mission to resurrect your progeny. Ave Satan! 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 So, you've been thinking about names? Uh, if you have a boy, what are you gonna name it? And you better be having a boy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, one of those old-fashioned names, like uh, Levi, like Homer or something. Homer? Over my dead body. Pardon the intrusion, ma'am. My name is Excel Brander. I wish to speak with your husband. Is he available? Uh, Jacob, he's, he's out fishing, but he'll be back any minute. Anything I could do for you? It's best that I speak directly with him. It involves an important business proposition. Well, you're welcome to wait inside. Much obliged. Just have a seat. It shouldn't be much longer. I'll go look for him. Jacob! There's a young man here to see you. Name is Axel. Says he wants to talk to you about a business proposition. Mr. Richardson, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. My name is Axel Brander. I'm here on behalf of my father, Henrik Brander. Russ, nice to meet you. Pascal, what can I do for you? Well, I know you're a busy man, sir, so I'll get right to it. My father is very interested in purchasing your land. In fact, he's willing to pay a handsome amount for it. You name the price. <laughs> well, I appreciate the offer, I really do, but... Well, this land ain't for sale at any price. There must be some amount that could change your mind. Think of the future your family could have with this money. You listen to me, young man. This is my family's house. I designed it. I helped build it with my bare hands. This land belongs to my family. Not to your father or anybody else for that matter. Just exactly 
What in the hell does he want with my land anyway? He has his reasons. Is that right? I'm sorry. But I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Well, Mr. Richardson, I understand that this is a difficult decision to make. We'll give you some time to consider the financial benefits. In the meantime, Please give my father's regards to your family. Here's my card. Hey. Hey, hey, how was your day? Not too bad. Dad and I, uh, Went fishing and I don't know, we're just hanging out and <laughs> they're having drinks. Not me, but <laughs> anyway, how are you? Uh, I had to put a mastiff to sleep, so that was a bummer. But uh, how's our little embryo doing? Doing just fine. Hey, Dr. Lindell said it'll probably start kicking in 12 weeks. Yeah, that sounds about right. Usually it takes about 20 weeks. <sighs> God, I wish I could be there with you right now. I miss you. I miss you too. Hey, you need to get your ass up here. I know. Just three more days, and I will zip right up there, seven hours, nine stop, and I will make the sweetest love to you ever. <laughs> I can't wait. God, I swear, it's like pregnancy makes me extra horny or something, honey. I don't know. Oh, Rebecca, you are torturing me. Yeah, you have no idea. Whoa. Hey, I gotta go, but, um... I'll call you later after dinner, okay? Okay. Tell them I said howdy. I will. I love you. I love you too. All right, bye. Bye. Can I help you? Hey, honey. I'm about to go paddle boarding at Latigo. Shift doesn't start for a couple hours, so uh, it's a beautiful day here in Malibu, as always. Anyway, you're probably still asleep, so uh, I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye.
Hi, this is Mark Neville. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you. It's voicemail again. How many times are you gonna try calling him? This is not like him. I don't know. Morning, Jacob. I need to have a word with Rebecca. Is she available? What do you need to talk to her for? Jacob, I, I hate to tell you this. Medical examiner is working on identifying a body that washed up on the beach in Malibu. <laughs> Given the circumstances Rebecca reported last night, I believe it may be your son-in-law. Dad, what's wrong? Rebecca, they, uh, they found a body in Malibu. They need us to go down there and help them make a positive identification, but it's possible it's not Mark. Oh. I hope to God it's not him. What, what happened to him? Some sort of freak accident. It was, uh, they say it was a shark bite, but it might not be Mark. I'll keep you in my prayers. It's all for the best. Rebecca, honey, you need anything? Some, maybe some tea? Okay, well, I'll go make some just in case. Lock this door and call the sheriff. What the hell? Whoever did this is sick. Hey, John. Listen. I'm sorry to get out on such a god-awful night like this. That's okay. Family's been through enough this week. If anybody's been trespassing on your property, I'm gonna find out who it is. But I gotta tell you, I've never seen anything like this before. Why would someone come all the way out here to put ashes and dead birds on your porch? There was a strange kid that showed up at Axel Brander. His father wanted to buy my property, but they wouldn't tell me why. He was really vague about it. So I refused him. Of course, I'm not selling this place. Did he give you anything? Any information? He gave me his card. Axel Brander. Area's clear, sir. Okay, good. Thank you. All right, listen. I'll have forensics check for any evidence. If we find anything, we'll let you know. In the meantime, if you see anybody trespassing, give me a call. Oh, well. All right, you take care. Thanks, John. Thanks, Tommy.
Scott. Come on, Come on. We need to get her to the hospital. Oh, oh. Understand it. First Mark, baby. It's like we're being picked off by God Himself. Something evil is happening, Jacob. I think someone put a curse on us last night, and that's why they left those terrible things on our porch. I don't believe in curses, Elena. That's nonsense. Besides, who the hell would do something like that? There was something strange about that young man, Axel. Boy, you're hiding something, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mark, come on, tell me. Ah, oh, you're making me nervous. No, what were you gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been, I've been doing a lot of thinking, and um, I've realized that uh, nothing in this universe matters to me if I can't be with you the rest of my life. I love you, Rebecca, and I want to be with you forever. Will you marry me?
Honey, stop. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Jacob. Jacob. Honey, wake up. Something's what? touching me. What? Something's touching my leg. Something's touching my leg. Stay perfectly still. Shh, don't move. Don't move. Stay still. Yes. I'm Dr. Bentley. Doc, how is she? Uh, why don't you come with us? Well, what? What do you mean, Doc? Why can't I see her? Mr. Richardson, uh, I want you to understand that we did everything we could, but your wife, she just didn't make it. The, because of the location of the bite, the venom spread so fast that there was just nothing else we could do. What do you mean? She didn't make... But because of where the bite was... Enough! Dr. Michaels, please use the operator. Dr. Michaels, please use Again, I'm sorry, Mr. Richardson. I'm so sorry. I'll be right here if you need anything. I'm so sorry. It should have been me because you should deserve this. My world, my life, I always love you. I promise you, I will take care of our little girl. I promise, I promise. I love you, Elena, with all my heart. I'm so sorry, darling. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, God.
Mark, is that you? Mark? Mark, I'm here. Oh my God. Mark, what's happened? Rebecca, you have to get out of here. They're coming. I'm not leaving. I don't have time to explain. You have to go. No. Rebecca, go. Go. Hello, Rebecca. It's you. Why are you here? I'm here to guide you to the other side. I'm not ready to die. It is already done, child. You can change destiny. You must accept your fate. No! Go to hell! Thank you, God. Thank you. Dad, I saw something. So what? On the other side. Mark was there. And he was suffering terribly. I saw that man, Axel. And there was an older man with him. I think it was his father. I think it was Henrik. What? What happened? Henrik tried to lure me to hell. He said it was my fate. And then I started burning. <laughs> They're causing all this suffering, Dad. They'll do anything they can to destroy us. There's obviously something on our land that they really want. Your mother tried to tell me they were evil. That they put a curse on our family. <laughs> but I was listen. <laughs> I would listen, baby. The girl lives, and now she knows who we are. We have failed Saturn, and he will not grant us access to his own child. If we continue to fail him... Should we take more direct measures, Father? In time, man. In time. We must wait for the right moment. Until then, keep a close eye on them. Bring her in! Saturn, we swear on our lives that we will not fail again. Please accept this offering as a token of our repentance. Ave Satan! 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 
Unfortunately, a lot of people confuse witchcraft with the fictional caricatures they see on TV and in novels. This is quite clearly one of the reasons most people disbelieve in the supernatural. But the truth is that witches do exist, as does magic. And like all things in life, magic could be used for good or it could be used for evil. Black magic spells bring death and destruction. White magic spells bring healing. A greatly experienced witch, such as a high priest or priestess, can cast the most powerful of spells, even, in some very rare occasions, a resurrection spell which can bring back the dead. But one must understand that the universe's life force is limited. It must be taken from other living things, and only the most experienced casters are able to control where that life force is taken from. So it is imperative that these spells are only performed by the right people for the right reasons. Hey, I uh, just talked to the sheriff. He's going to send one of his deputies over to watch out for us later. That's good to know. Yep. Okay, honey, then I'll, I'll just leave you to it. Hello, Rebecca. It's very nice to meet you. Hi, it's nice to meet you, too. Um, thank you so much for getting back to me. It's my pleasure. I, I see that you live in the Napa Valley. It's a very beautiful place to live. One of my dearest friends lives in that area too. What can I do to help you? Well, I, I really enjoyed your, your video on, on witchcraft. And it really inspired me to want to meet a witch. Look, this might, this might sound ridiculous, but do you know any real witches? Because if you do, then I could really use their help. That is an excellent question. And it is highly probable that I do know of a real witch. But it's just not the kind of information I give out to just anyone willy-nilly. I'd have to ask you a whole multitude of questions just to set up an appointment with someone like that. Incidentally, when, when were you actually thinking of meeting this real witch? Tonight, if, if possible. It, it's very urgent. Look, please, I, I'm not trying to waste your time. I, I'll pay you if I need to. This is, this is very important to me. Hmm. I think I might know just the right person for you. But before we can proceed, I'm going to have to ask you some very detailed questions. Of course. I'll answer anything. Just, just tell me what you need to know. If we don't find this place in the next five minutes, we're heading back. We should be there any minute. I take a left up here. Rebecca, I really don't like this. Are you sure you have to talk to a witch priestess? I just want some answers. Can't hurt to talk to her, Dad. All right, but I'm telling you, it's a complete waste of time. It's like those TV psychics. It's a fucking ripoff. Okay, it's gonna be right up here on the left. Yeah, right here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Please come in. Okay. It can be done, but I really recommend it. When you bring back the dead, they might not come back the person they once were. There can be very negative consequences, especially if that person doesn't want to be resurrected. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Yes, I'm sure. Mark meant everything to me. I would do anything to be with him again. Please, I, I beg you. Help me bring him back. Henrik and his followers are using magic for all the wrong reasons. Magic is meant to help people, not destroy them. I will revive Mark for you. 
because I sense that your heart is in the right place. Thank you. Love is something no evil can take away. Now keep in mind, what we will be doing is illegal. Some would say immoral. I need you to go home and really think about this. If you decide to go through with it, you let me know. But Rebecca, no one can know about this. No one. So how'd it go? Is she a kook or what? No, she's very helpful. Dad. Hey, honey. Morning. I need to talk to you about something. And you're probably going to think it's completely insane, but I have to tell you. Well, you know, you can tell me anything, so just say what you need to say. The reason I met with Mary Beth is because she might be able to bring Mark back. Bring Mark back. That's impossible. I mean, I know how much you miss him. Well, I have to at least try, Dad. I mean, you know things weren't supposed to end up like this. With Mary Beth's help, we could undo some of the damage that these people Even have... if it were possible, what makes you think it would be the right thing to do? It would be disrupting Mark's afterlife We'd have to dig him up, which is illegal, and not to mention it's blasphemous. I know, Dad, but I saw Mark on the other side, and he's in terrible pain. Now, it's a miracle that I'm alive. You said so yourself. We just need one more miracle to set things right again. If we don't even try, then what's the fucking point of all of this? Just sit on our asses and wait for them to kill us? Rebecca. I'm sorry. You're all I have left. I just don't want someone like Mary Beth to take advantage of you. You got that? But you really need to do this. Then I'll help you out however I can, you know, no, I'd, I'd do anything for you. Thank you, Dad. artistry under no circumstances should you interrupt the procedure any interference could make mark vulnerable to dark forces dark forces you might know them as familiar spirits as they refer to in the bible this should keep them at bay Let us begin. Isis, mother of all, 
Master of birth, life, and death, hear us. You were before time and after, before knowing and nothing. Accept our offering, Isis. Know our prayer. Accept our offering, Isis. Let him cross over. Let him cross over. Release him, Isis! Release him! Son of a bitch. Mark is alive. But he's in a catatonic state. Give him time to rest. His body needs to recover from his unnatural resurgence. Tomorrow he shall awaken anew. You don't know what this means to me. Thank you. Rest up. Tomorrow is the first day of your new life. Now remember, you must keep this a secret. Mark cannot return to the world he once inhabited. It would be too dangerous for him. Don't worry, I won't let him out of my sight. Good. I brought you supplies for the weekend. I'll bring more Monday. Just remember that these will only help keep evil out of your house. Henrik's followers could still come back here, and if they do, you better call the police. Oh, don't worry about that. The sheriff's very sympathetic to our situation. Happy to hear that. Did Henwick's call specify why your land is so important to them? No. He was very vague about it. Do you know if there's anything buried beneath your garage? We did hit an old well during construction. It's been sealed off and buried for what looked like centuries. So we, we didn't think it was that important, so we just covered it up. Oh my god, Dad. There could be something really horrible buried down there. And all this time, we had no idea. I gotta go. <sighs> no matter what happens, do not let them near that well. We won't. Thank you for everything, Mary Beth. You can thank me by protecting that well. Take care, Mark, for me. Good night. Mark. Mark. You're really 
was here. <laughs> Her back home. Shh. They come find us. We know too much. Rebecca, I promise you, if they come back here, I'll kill them all. I'm not afraid of them. I'm not afraid to die. I promise you, I will do anything I can to keep you safe. Oh, shit, it's the sheriff. Okay. Dad! The sheriff's here. Come on, God, hold on. Stay in there. And be quiet. Hey, John? Jacob? What's going on? Oh, my God. Mind if I come inside and sit down for a moment? Oh, no, of course not. Come on. Jacob, I think the people that took Mark's body are the same people that have been harassing you. That Axel and Hendrik Brander. Well, have you found anything on them? Nothing we can use against them. No criminal record, no lawsuits. Uh, they're completely under the radar. Look, I can't prove it yet. But I know they're responsible for these damn tragedies. My family's and probably your other problems, too. I'm starting to believe you. Well, that's good. We haven't had so much as a traffic violation these past few years. And ever since that Axel visited you, I got two girls go missing. And with your family's tragedies and, and his body snatching, it's just... The coincidence is too big to ignore. What about the cemetery? Did you, uh, find any evidence? Nothing we can pin on them. The perpetrators made sure not to leave anything behind. Well, uh, just let me know if there's anything we can do. Listen, uh, I gotta head out. Just tell Rebecca said hello. You're welcome. Stressful. You're supposed to be dead. Yeah, that was close. I can't believe you did this for me. Must have cost a fortune for your sake. Yeah, it costs an arm and a leg. Mm -hmm. No offense. I take it. <sighs> Are you sure you're not weirded out by me being back? Dead. Mark, I will always love you. No matter what. I promise. Still getting used to this. <laughs> Looks kind of like chewed up bubble gum. Yeah. Does it hurt? I don't feel a thing. It's uh, no, it doesn't hurt at all. It's almost like it's magic. <sighs> exactly. <laughs> Speaking of magic, I'm uh, really getting attached to this bling yeah. you got me. It's pretty serious. <laughs> oh my god, that's from Mary Beth. What the hell is that? I know. Stay here, okay? What the hell is going Oh shit, they're here. Look, call the sheriff. Stay with Rebecca. Mark! Stay with her. I will. Those bastards are full up to the last time. Be careful. Rebecca, we're here to help. We want to believe you, but we need to know the truth. What happened at the cemetery? We just, we went to visit Mark's grave. We 
We said a prayer and then we left. That was it. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, what do we do, sir? He might be a fucking zombie. Lower your weapons. What's going on here? Mark, what the fuck? Sorry, but I can't stay locked up forever, especially at a time like this. I don't want to freak you guys out anymore, but I figured if anything gets too crazy, we could use these. Justin, what the hell are you doing with dynamite? My dad worked in demolition. I just figured these might come in handy. You know, if anything gets too crazy. Put that shit up. One bullet hits that bag, we're all dead. Yes, sir. I'll hide him under here. Call for backup. I can't get a signal, sir. It's all fucked up. Well, Black. Black. We don't have time to waste. We should split up. Two people on each side of the house. Don't let anyone in the garage. Adams, you stay with me. Give Mark your radio. Everyone, be careful. Let's go. We'll take the west. Don't be afraid. Saturn himself is with us. Prepare to attack. Go. I think I saw some wet trees. He's side. Whoa! Shoot to kill. A big fucking mistake, you know that? Am I? I could kill you so fucking easily. You pathetic fucking wake up! Trust you, like a pink baby. Right. <laughs> You 
you hear that? Do you hear that? <laughs> They're ready for you. <sighs> now I was just complying. <sighs> if you want to die with a semblance of fucking dignity. Eus, Kantiche. I'm gonna cut off your fucking tits and shove them up your motherfuck. <laughs> How's that for dignity, fuckface? Thank God you're right. Okay. You okay? Yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you. We have to get out of here. Now. Becca, go with Mary. No, I'm not leaving you. I can't lose you. Go. Whatever's down there must be stopped. I'll, I'll put an end to this. Ma, don't leave me. No, he's right. If we stay here, we're gonna perish. Everything you've been through will be men. Mark, God damn it! I have to do this. Please let me honor the life that you've given me. Go. Go. Don't you die again. Oh, jeez. Go. Screw this up. Please let me see Rebecca again. Please accept this offering. May it nourish your sleeping child. Son of Lucifer, awake! Avenge your betrayed father. Fuck you, Henrik! No! Extinguish it! We mustn't lose the child! Fight it off! Fuck you! You and your family by the power of Saturn himself. Do you hear me? You'll be cursed for eternity. <laughs> Let the pain leave you, my son. Awake, please, I beg of you, 
don't let our suffering be in vain. We have served you well. Arise! Arise, I command you! Oh, yeah. I mean, I pointed it right at his head, and his brain just turned into this bloody oatmeal-like mush. It came out of every orifice in his head. <laughs> it was insane. Oh, my God, that is insane. I can honestly say I've never heard of that one being done before. So it worked pretty well, then? Oh, God, it was so effective and fast. It was just so messy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh, it's just this whole thing's such an incredible story. I mean, you really should let me write the book on this. We'd make an absolute killing off it, I can assure you. Yeah. But you better get over that book idea, because I'm gonna make your brain seep out of your head. Okay, okay, I'll forget it. Calm down. Just glad you're all okay. That's the thing. Good morning. <sighs> so is, uh, is Mark still up? Uh... He just woke up. I gotta go. Okay, I'll talk to you later then. Goodbye, Rebecca. Say hello to Mark for me. Bye, Mark. I see somebody is awake. How do you feel? Like I have a hangover from hell. Next time, just let me die for fuck's sake. I'm never gonna let you die, so you're just gonna have to suck it up. Mark, is it all over? Whatever was down there is dead. Along with the rest of its adoring fan base, flew them all straight to hell. I will need to read your hands. We have to make sure the curse has been lifted.